Santa Kalanis a religious war. The Greeks only demand is the cultivation into the mountain pot of Greek civilization and religion. A small group led by Gia Maccabee opposed the Greek ideal and were prepared to fight and die to preserve Judaism. This Hanukkah, ask yourself, would you have to stand with the Maccabees? Would you be prepared to die for the sake of Torah today? Intermarriage between what and what faiths are we talking about here? Of course, yeah. nobody sure. wants to, to marry not Jews. Right, not you. Well, if somebody gets married to somebody of another faith and they invite me to the wedding, I will attend. What are you doing about it? <laughs> Trying to raise uh, from family. I have people Great. that come in and they buy mezuzahs and uh, they tell me that this is for intermarriage and we, we try to, to dissuade them or whatever we can do. There's always more to be done. Uh, I would probably leave that up for the better equipped people to take it. We're 14 million Jews, and we were 14 million Jews 30 years ago. Between then and now, 30 years, we could have had, at this point, close to 15 million Jews. But we're losing people very at a very fast pace. Yeah, it affects everybody. It affects all Jews. Yeah, family. family on both sides, all the people that have it to marry. Yeah, I think everybody's responsible. I think, um, they're living in Kiddush Hashem, I think it would have an impact on how people perceive Judaism. Yeah, of course it affects me. From 100 Jews, in secular, in the fourth generation will be Jews will remain the fourth generation only 13. Conservative from 100 Jews, fourth generation will be 27 Jews. Only 29% of American Jews get a Jewish day school education. 43% of those who lacked any Jewish education intermarried. 29% among those who had one day per week of Jewish education intermarried. 23% of those who had part-time Jewish education intermarried. And only 7% of those who attended Jewish day school or yeshiva intermarried. Uer makes it possible for them to receive a full religious and secular education straight through high school. To volunteer and make a donation, please call 1-800-21-URA or go to URA.org. Thirty-five percent of American Jews have visited Israel at least once. Which brings young Jews ages 18 to 26 for their first visit to the Jewish state. Launched by a team of visionary philanthropists has reconnected untold thousands of young Jews with their community and their heritage. Spread the news. Tell people about it. Tell them to check it out at birthrightisrael.com. About 800,000 Jews out of 5.3 million are Jewish but do not identify at all with the Jewish people. More than half of American Jews disagree with the statement, it would pain me if my child married a Gentile. Get involved, put yourself out there, and help reconnect thousands of Jewish souls today.